STEM is an acronym for science, technology, engineering, and math. And it really captures a lot of the key skills that students require in the modern workplace. And a lot of STEM learning is best done when it's hands-on to the extent that we can have project-based learning, which is really a trend that's important for ed tech because that's how we all tend to work in the real world. Educational technology, the shorthand for that is, is typically ed tech, and it just means the incorporation of technology into the classroom to improve learning. All of us have different learning styles, so the biggest benefit of educational technology is allowing kids to connect with learning in a variety of ways. What's really important to understand is that we don't expect all kids to be programmers. In fact, we probably think 10% of the kids who use our program will, will be programmers in real life. Because ideally, where coding fits in with education is it's a tool to augment all other subjects. In English, you could do an analysis of word patterns to see if Shakespeare really wrote all the plays that we think he wrote. The other thing about coding is that computer science at its core is really about logical thinking and problem solving. The idea that certain problems can be solved through repetition of a particular sequence of events, right? That's something that's very powerful in coding, but also is important to think about in things like automating an assembly line. What we see is that access to technology, in particular to internet connectivity, is not the same everywhere. And these inequities really add up over time. By the time someone graduates from high school, if they've been exposed to computer science as young as you know second or third grade, and then they got to go to the next class, and then they entered robotics, by the time they graduate from high school, they're way ahead of their peers. What's great about ed tech is that if done right, you can really hold the technology accountable both for engagement and efficacy. The best ed tech companies that I know of do regular efficacy studies on whether their technology is actually teaching you know, what they say it's gonna teach. They're super important in terms of making sure that we're having a positive impact in the classroom. For example, you can track individual progress in a way that wasn't really possible before, but now the technology does a lot of that heavily lifting for the teacher, and then the teacher can spend more time interpreting the results and giving kids the help they need in specific areas where they might be struggling.